okay so um, this is going to be a quick video on um, the minor changes that we've done to the fly-by-wire system now after the A380 landing competition we noticed a um, very very um, important feature wasn't actually in place which is the ability to turn off fly-by-wire system um, in case any faults occur um, the most typical or the most common um, as I say, um, faults that do occur unfortunately is there is at rare points um, a tendency for the plane to um, start to oscillate in its pitches if the Roblox server is starting to have a lag or some form of delay um, it's been observed um, and it happens even in A350 at the moment I really don't have any clear fix however my aim would be to um, but what is called a maximum rate of change limiter um, which will hopefully not mess up of course how the plane you know water trims well um, but at the same time will limit if this fault happens limit its effect okay so in natural movement the trim isn't really gonna oscillate from zero to like one to two etc um, even though the maximum is of course minus one to one it's not gonna oscillate between 0.5 and then next minute it's like minus 0.5 so hopefully that will um, play out well as for the rest of it the fly-by-wire um, you know in the three laws I already talked about direct law alternate law and normal law has been added on AP we're gonna get the arrows to um, have a look test them and make sure that everything is fine so as we take our turn right now we are flying the Eastern Special Delivery um, A380 by John. It's going to take a long turn around. I mean, to be honest, I ain't really banking as far as I should actually. I want to make a, a, such a turn at this speed fast. So, making our turn about this, this about 30 um, degrees. And there we go. I'm going to head down to the city before I go ahead and mess around with the different. Systems. There we go. So leveling out. Um, I'm gonna go into mouse mode. What's gonna happen now is, if you watch here, the um, controls. I will change the controls here. I will change this to fly by wire master switch. Okay. Um, and what happens here is when you press the um, minus key, you can see when alternate. Law. What does alternate law mean? Um, what it means in alternate law, quite simply, is we have bank protection, and we do have the fly-by-wire bank protection, okay, and the fly-by-wire bank ability. However, we do not have auto trim anymore, and we do not have. See, you can see it's not trimming anymore. Um, if I pitch up here, you can see it's very responsive as well. As you can see, no trim happening very responsive because that's direct law okay um, but of course our banking as you can see is still controlled by fly by wire okay Gangle. you can see when um, that happens of course um, so eventually I will make sure of course that um, when it gets to that stage um, bank angle on the alternate law will be controlled by um, the bank so it will still be on an alternate law. I think at the moment it's not however it will be um, but then if you press minus you have flat white direct law direct law turns off the bank um, fly by wire version turns off the pitch fly by wire and turns off both protections it also does at the turn off the stalling protection as according to like Airbus's FCOM okay so in direct law basically flying the plane for okay so manually you'll be expected to trim the plane yourself and you'll be expected to um, do all the necessary stuff basically needed to maintain the plane in flight so as you can see I can trim myself manually and it won't be burnt okay so this is useful for again as I say if, if all of a sudden um, you started noticing that your um, you started noticing that your um, plane started having any inconvenience with robot servers using the fly-by-wire system you can just log that off um, 
and you'll be pretty much stable. Um, so pretty much right now what I'm going to do, I did want to try and do this before. I'm going to turn off the flight of wire system. There we go, flight of wire is back on. Do you know that of course, but when you turn the flight of wire back on of course, you can expect, um, depending on where you were before, it will just jog you a little bit, but there won't be anything dramatic, okay? Now, I wonder where my cars are supposed to be. I think they're over there, actually. I am going to dive. Because I really just want to see the cars for once drive. Bank angle, bank. You know what? I, if I'm going to do such stuff, I, bank angle. I should be allowed to fly in direct go. Oops. There we go. I'm back in direct go. I want to go ahead and have a look at what I'm Bank angle, bank angle. 
bank angle, 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 bank angle. Oopsie, I didn't pay attention there. I actually forgot that I don't have request mode. So I press request mode because I'm so used to turning it on if I want to do for anything. Okay. Um, once I'm ready now, I'm going to take the flight. Hopefully, request mode wasn't turned back on. Yep, it's up. Um, so, as I said, I'm so used to using request mode that it's like you click middle mouse by and then you go do what you want. But uh, because it's disabled in direct law, it actually moves like that. So you have to go straight into keyboard mode as the normal um, or the previous way. So with this now, I am going to now quickly set my 140 and then switch back to camera mode and let's see if we can get this thing landed. Now the important thing is to find that runway and I need to what I usually do is I fly the, f um, you know, fly towards the airport and then just make a little circle of turn um, just when I know I'm close. So about here. Also in the alternate law and direct law modes, um, the autopilot will be disabled and that's because of course um, the functions that it will use are pretty much primarily disabled then in the real aircraft once you get into those two laws out of normal law you will not have autopilot because realistically the autopilot is not going to know there's faults and will cause more problems than you'd want it to um, at this point I do feel um, you know that um, may be trimmed a bit too um, too high Minimum. So I am trimming down right now. Hundred above. I would have done that before. Of course, one hundred. You don't have to worry about that. Coming. Fifty. In, still trimming just a bit more. Forty. This is Thirty. Mode do, Twenty. You. And you can see him floating. And just gonna put it down. Oops. Put it down there. Not such a good land, but of course, it's in flare mode. her down on time so you know we've gone the further the, the full distance for this done there so we've uh, gone quite a bit through the runway but as you can see yeah um direct as i said to people some people did say to me of course um that flying with um uh the normal mode is the non flyable wire mode is easier but as I've shown it's not really the case um, especially when you've had to manually trim yourself um, you'll find out that you've also got to manually trim for the um, touchdown um, but of course it depends on whoever um, if you master a way to um, work with the direct door yourself coming from a Boeing plane then you'll be able to get the right trim that you need at the right speed for touchdown um, of course I don't really fly manually like this because I'm, I use the automation um, and so it's never really been a problem with the automation um, for those who are more experienced with flare mode or for those who may not want to use flare mode depending on your weight and your speed of course your weight and speed should be allow you to do this your landing speed you could use the takeoff flaps to come in and with that you'll have no flare mode input but you will have um, the ability to of course land with a bit more control for yourself however i do recommend of course the flare mode um, or the landing mode because it's uh you know how the real pilots do it so that's the video. Um, the A350 and the A380 will have this update rolled out by the um, Wednesday, hopefully. I just need the arrows to just test and make sure everything's fine. Um, and for the A380, um, I need them just to check one thing with the autopilot with banking, just to confirm that um, if there's any minor tweaks to that needed, we will get that tweaked 
and then um, once they've confirmed that's fine I'll release the A3 um, A380 um, scripts again for people to copy and paste in and that should be pretty much the update for the A380 um, the, or at least the latest patch for the A350 and A380 pretty much out the way so that the A321 can get some more attention. Thanks.